Hello and welcome to Newsday with Jeff A. Hearn. I'm your host, Jeff A. Hearn. Today's top story. The list of cities with the highest per capita murder rates are in. And to no surprise, if your city's progressive, people are getting popped. If your city is woke, people are getting whacked. And if your city has a lot of anti-fascists, it is getting absolutely... Well, you get the idea. Cities like New Orleans, Baltimore, and Birmingham are knocking out perennial favorites like Chicago, New York, and Philly. Cities so violent, there's almost a civic pride to it. But there are a bunch of new sheriffs in town. Just kidding. With the funding, there's barely money for the old ones. It's so bad, New Orleans' murder rate is now ninth overall on a list of countries that are actively at war. Democrat cities that look like a bomb hit them are starting to compete with cities that are actually getting hit with bombs. Offer a person from Ukraine a place to stay in New Orleans, and I'm pretty sure they'll turn it down. I mean, you're going to get shot either way. Why not just stay home? At least you won't have to deal with flight delays, lost bags, and airline food. Poor Democrats, their plan to stop skyrocketing murder are the same policies that are its direct cause. And you know I'm right. When I first started discussing murder capitals, I'm pretty sure your first question that came into your head was which Democrat city is it this year? Sadly, liberals are the architects of their own woke apocalypse. New Orleans has a murder rate of 36.8 per capita so far just this year, followed by Baltimore at 29.1, Birmingham, and St. Louis. It's like Democrats are in a contest with themselves to see which they can raise faster, the murder rate or inflation. It's a terrible contest, yet every November, Democrats go out and buy more tickets.